hustling day and night We have to survive Yes, I'm working on a new album right now. It's a 12 track album. Well, um, we're planning to release it um, next month, February, February 19th, February 20th. Yeah, around that date, we're looking to release it on the social um, and the web and the web stores. This album. Well, that producer right now is a producer in France named Over, and as you can see, we Over right there in the studio right now. Over record, overdose record. Oh. Trust me, I sing about all the topics you may think about, you know. It's just, it's all about putting in life, you know. It's all about life, life reality, you know, what people go through on a daily basis. You know, sing for the ladies, you know. We sing about everything, we sing for the children, we sing about nature, you know, we sing about everything. Yeah, um, we, we're going to be heading to... Côte d'Ivoire, Ivory Coast, um, in a few weeks. We have two shows in Abidjan, one on the February 14th and 15th. So I'm looking forward for that. It's going to be my second time to Africa. I'm looking forward. It's always a pleasure performing in Africa, you know. Well, 2016-17 at the end, because we had the show it was me, Loot and Fire, and Norris Man. We did a Afro Diaspora Festival in Dhaka, Senegal, which was successful. And um, the show was December 31st, but by the time I went on the stage, it was 2017, January 1st. Yeah, it's a big pleasure, you know. And to be honest, I felt so overwhelmed because, you know, growing up as a little boy in the Caribbean islands, we have been hearing that um, our ancestors is what was taken away from Africa. And in real life, when we get back there, yeah, it's like I felt my ancestor's spirit. I feel everything, you know, everything was real. You know, it was a pleasure. It was a good experience. And until this day, I still speak about that experience. Big up Senegal, big up Dhaka, you know. They show me good love there. Respect. No, I never perform in the U.S. Never perform in the U.S. Okay. Mm. But we are looking forward, you know, we are looking forward for the future, in the future, I should say. Okay. Yes, well, um, at, this, at this moment, on this album, we're still talking, we're still in the talk, we're still in the, in the process, you know, but I really want to put Jam Mason on the album. You know, I'm going to have a track with Luton Fire, which um, yesterday we did. We did that song yesterday with me and Luton. And I'm going to have a next artist named Emma Moses, by the name of Emma Moses. And um, also, I try to get Jamison on the album as well, you know, but it's in the process. So. Well, Europe is where the reggae, we call, we call France the, the, the reggae-ness, you know. I mean, after Jamaica, in, in Europe, France is the biggest thing, you know, where, you know, the people love reggae. The people gravitate to the music a lot in France, and I do give thanks for that, you know. Big up the French people, you don't know one love France for supporting reggae music from them time there until now. Big up yourself, friends. Big up the people, one love. Well, you know, the thing, the thing is that, you know, the thing, um, the thing spread out worldwide. It's not like one time, you know, everything is digital and, you know, so the thing spread out. So it's not really only Jamaicans, you know, it's all over the world because reggae music is uh, international music. It was both in Jamaica, but it spread out widely, you know. So it's always a good thing to go to Europe and record. You know, by doing this, it's a good experience, you know, it's a good vibe. You know, we share that, we share that, um, that culture together. So it's a good thing, you know what I mean? It's a good thing and um, I'm not really going to say it's a change, but it, I should say, well, it's just the time. You know, back then, we never really had all these access. So now it's a different time. So we just, we take the, we use the opportunity, I should say, yeah. Yes, I heard about the earthquake and um, um, I should say, I don't even know what to tell you if it's mankind or if it's a natural disaster, but base, I was doing some little researches and I saw there is a guy that working for the government official in Puerto Rico and he's saying that um, the Americans is what have really created this thing because they're, they're doing some drilling in Puerto Rico and because of that, because they're drilling for crude oil and because of the drilling, it's... It, um, 
it's interfering with the with the Caribbean plates, the volcanic plates. So because of that, we're supposed to expect earthquakes, tsunami, etc. But you don't know. It's only Jay alone that can guide us through, yeah? Well, yeah, for now, this safe. we're all safe in the Caribbean. We do give thanks, you know, no matter what. We have been in the Caribbean for ancient days, facing all kind of difficult weathers, and we're still there alive, so there's nothing that can drive fear into Caribbean people, you know, we're firm like a rock. Um, no, for now, it's okay for now. For now, it's okay, you know, it's calm for now, but um, as I said, it's just um, poverty, you know, poverty is what that really creates all that crime and stuff in Jamaica. I mean, if somebody don't have a job and the person have children to feed, what do you expect? Because the children have to eat and in Jamaica or in the English speaking Caribbean island, we don't have access to welfare. So basically you have to handle everything on your own and sometimes it, it's, it's difficult, you know, because I know parents, I know parents that have 10 children and they don't have a job. And they don't have welfare, they don't have access to welfare, so the father, what do you think the father will do? The father will go and do anything to make sure he, he, he earn money, you know? So what's going on in the Caribbean is just prayers. You know, prayers is the only thing that can, um, that can heal. And we need to change our mentality in the Caribbean, you know? A different mentality, different approach. And in that form, I believe we're going to excel to a different dimension. It's, it's um, well, it's the same, based on statistics, it's the same as the, the, the British will tell you, it's the same. Jamaica, Trinidad and St. Lucia has the highest homicides in the Caribbean. It's the same statistic but different population, if you understand what I'm saying. For, for example, Jamaica has 3 million people. Mm. Trinidad have 1.5 million, St. Lucia only have 200,000 people. But you're going to get the same average of murders throughout the year is the same, you know, so. But what I'm praying for, I'm just praying for the goodness of the Caribbean, you know what I mean? Send love to all the islands, Haiti, Jamaica, St. Lucia, Martinique, Dominica, Grenada, Barbados, all over. Big up the Bahamas, you know, because the people in the Bahamas has been going through some difficult times. Last year hurricane, so you don't know Bahamas stay strong. Yes, we're fighting. We're fighting spiritually for us to get there because we, we have to reach that dimension and we have to fight for it. So we're going to get there. It's all a matter of time. Well, everywhere in the world those things are common. People take people abuse children all over the world. You know, even you go, you come to a metropolitan country, you're going to see people abusing children. So these things is a worldwide thing. And um, we are trying our best to at least eradicate it slowly but surely. You know, but as I said, human beings just have bad behavior, so slowly but surely I should say we're trying to we're trying to clean up, you know. But the children are very important, they have a future and we're trying our best to protect them. Yeah, that is that is true, that is true. What should I say? The artists get afraid. <laughs> I don't know. Well not me, I still burn fire I burn fire as a young youth, as a young artist in the in the industry, you know. I burn fire because, you know, as I said, we are there to really vindicate the people, vindicate the poor people, lead the people in the right direction. Because the governments are not doing it. The government is only there to abuse and mislead and take advantage, you know. So, we are the ones that there. We are the ones that, that have a voice for the people. So, I'm willing to speak up about corruption at any given day, at any time, you know. Zero tolerance for corruption. Zero tolerance for negativity. Yeah. Well, I don't have a problem with that. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with that because, you know, Coffee is a young lady, you know what I mean? Coffee keeps it lyrically, lyrically clean. She, she sings good music. Yeah, she, 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 she never pr produced an album, but with the, the music she produced, it has good quality, good message, big up to Coffee, you know? It's a young female and I'm wishing her all the best. Yes, because you know all the time it's the same same set of people. So at least a young lady come and show, yes, she have talent and you know. So big up coffee. It's a good look. Big up Jamaica. Well, I listen to the music, you know, because the music is foundation music. We listen to those artists because those artists are foundation for us. You know, they pave the way. So big respect to all the foundation artists that set it for us today. Yes. All these artists, I want to say big up to all the veteran artists 
from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, all the way until now. Big respect to all the artists. You know, they were, they were the ones that paved the way for us, so we have to pay homage. Big respect to the elders. Yeah, you know it's legal. Voice of the Ghetto representing for Jamwell 876. Yeah. Life is a blessing. To wake up in the morning, see the sun rising. It's amazing. Yes, I. Jamwell 876. Keep it locked.